All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at formatting numbers. So we're going to start off by selecting cell D2 by double-clicking in there and typing in today's date. So it works best if you type it in with dashes because we're going to look at how we can change the formatting later. So we're going to do 3 and then whatever today. Actually, just put in whatever date currently is for you. So I'm going to do 3, 18... 20 and then select outside the box and it changed it to dashes for me for whatever reason but we're going to change it here in a second anyway so we're going to do that by selecting cell d2 again and we're going to change the formatting to a long date format which has uh, dashes in between it and then it has the word or the three letters of whatever month it is so i think they use march in the example so I'm going to click on the ABC123 button here in the middle of the number format. And we're going to format this as a date. Notice that there's a little information button to the right hand side. We actually need to select that to get to more advanced options. So I'm going to click the little I. And then I'm going to look for the long, the long format option, which is right in the middle where it has the number and then the month, and then the year. So I'm going to click that. And if I select outside, you can see that it changes it automatically. So that way if somebody's typing it in, in a format that isn't necessarily what you're looking for, it will automatically correct it for you. All right, in cell D8, we're going to change the sales tax rate to a percentage. So right now we can see that it's in a decimal. We're going to click the ABC123 again, the number format button, and change that to a percentage. All right. Uh, we're then going to select column B, as it says in the direction, and change that column to currency. So we'll go back to the numbers format. Easy enough. This time we don't have to click on the information button. We just click on currency. You can see it will format those as dollars. We're going to go back to cell D8 now. And we're going to change the decimal value. And this comes in handy later when we're doing our Excel final to know how to do this. So again, this one's a little tricky because you can't really see what you're doing. But we're going to click on the number format button again. We're going to um, click on actually just going to scroll to the top and then we're going to actually increase the decimal number let's see if that works and like I said you can't actually see what happens so I actually went the wrong way we're going to click on the number formatting and we'll click decrease twice now and see if that works so there it is so I can see that it worked out correctly because now it reads 7.5% as it says in the directions all right, if you got that, you are done.